David Tracy, um, I suppose we haven't seen much of you over the last year. How mm. frustrating has it been with this injury? Look, it's it, it's tricky. Um, I mean, it's it's just a time thing for us. But look, thankfully I'm back now, fully training. So that's that's all I can do. Um, kind of the Galway game just came just a bit too quickly for me. But now look, I've put a good two weeks training back behind me, and look, sunshine, and we're back training. Like, where would you rather be? Hamstring was it? No, it was actually it was different. I I'd, I'd be able to tell you a, a perfect uh, diagnosis <laughs> if it was. No, it was actually a small tear in my groin where my groin is uh, and kind of a hip flexor. But look, it was nothing serious. It was just a time thing. It was it was healing every day. Uh, and again, as I said, look, the goal game just came a bit too soon from that for for that one. But back fully training now. So you had a different perspective of that goal game to yeah. your teammates. What was it like? Yeah, look, it was amazing. Um, it was a great great day. Um, um, for the, the guys to do it, I tell you, I don't, I don't envy any spectators of a sport when you're heavily uh, invested in it. But the one thing I would say is, um, it was great, obviously, to get the win. But again, we weren't where we wanted to be at after the final whistle, whatever the permutations were. We weren't in the Leinster final after it, which was obviously the the goal we set out to achieve at the start. Um, but happy to be back on the road, still in on the road again now, looking forward to, to this game on Saturday, which is really, really important for us to keep momentum going. Yeah, it's funny you mention that because I think, God, I don't think I've experienced atmosphere down at Parnell Park like that. And even talking about county finals where you would sometimes get like really big atmospheres, whether it be football or hurling. Yeah. Um, and I suppose that got lost a little bit in the celebrations afterwards that you didn't make that Leinster final. And, you know, maybe it's something that people I suppose uh, people from outside the camp were thinking that Dublin weren't going to make a Leinster final they probably would have killed Kenny Galway all ahead of you as, as favourites so as players you, you obviously were really disappointed you didn't get that far yeah look look again obviously we're still in the competition still have another match to play and, and, and hope and, and again obviously this weekend hoping to progress in the All-Ireland Championship that was obviously it was, it was a good result in that regard but when you're setting your goals at the start of the year it's, it obviously didn't pan out the way we wanted to. So, look, we have a chance now after that. That old match, again, it's in the rearview mirror now at this stage. Um, it, w it will account for nothing if we do nothing this this uh, this weekend. And that's that's the primary focus now, as it has been for the past three weeks, is gearing up for this leash match um, so that we can continue momentum and, and put in a performance now on Sunday. I spoke to Matthew Kenny after the game, and mm. even with all the injuries, he said his belief in the players to get to the All Ireland seri series never wavered. Does that self belief permeate from Maddie through into the players into the panel? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, but it's not. You, you don't think that far. You know, it, it, all we do and, and uh, is focus on every. And I know it is a cliche, but it is every single next game. Um, simply put, because the second you put your head away from it, you, you know you're you're at a disadvantage. So. Like you have to take every match as it comes, be it Walsh Cup, be it Alliance Leagues, be it Leinster Championship, be it Senior Championship. Every game, one at a time, and that's what he's instilled in us, and that's exactly the focus that we have. What does he? What did he do differently from the start of the year, David, to kind of get the year set up as it's gone? Nothing, to be honest. Um, I mean, uh, it is player led. Um, he he puts in. I mean, I obviously have been working with him for 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 years. Um, he's he's done. Like it hasn't been revolutionary. It's he's put a structure in place, a great backroom team there, and there's a bunch of hungry players there in amongst the setup um, that want to obviously achieve. Um, and again, as I would say, so far we haven't yet um, this year uh, in terms of where we wanted to be um, and where we want to go now is obviously getting back on track, getting back on the road, and, and making sure that um, we can give a best account of ourselves now on Sunday. Is attention to detail. <coughs> Regarding to you know scouting the opposition is is legendary. Is is it still the same as as it is with on uh, with inter county teams? Yeah, look, I mean, I think I think at this level everyone has top of top of the range s stats people uh, and video analysis. So it'd be impossible for him to 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 look at all the all the games himself. He take he obviously has put a good backroom and staff. Um, as as have Leash. I mean, you look at their their dressing room that they have. Obviously, a former a former playing. A uh, teammate of mine, uh, Corcoran's there. They have obviously the class of Eddie Brennan, so uh, and amongst other, and they have really high quality players there. So I mean, it's all well and good, you know, saying we can we can do our due diligence, but they they'll we can 100% be doing there. So all all we have to focus on is to is to see how we can get the most out of it, um, and prepare ourselves as best as possible. I was going to mention Noel Corcoran actually because yeah. he is of course a selector with Leash. Um, how dangerous could he be in this game this weekend? 
<clears throat> I mean, it's not just this game. I mean, you, you can see, look, looking back at the at the league fixture against Leash, you know, th- it was nearly a game. Like the weather was horrific that day, but you could sense that they had obviously his his blueprint all over it in terms of, you know, hard working, athletic, physical team, which is what we expect on Sunday. Um, and you know, obviously Niall is was in my time was a was a model player, like you know, in terms of his work rate and his and his attitude towards the game. And I think obviously that is is shone through on this leash side. I mean, three twenty six in any game is is a massive scoreline, which they put away last week. Um, they've huge quality um, in the top eight in terms of you know they'd make any county team in in the country. Um, so. It's not just obviously obviously Nile, but they they have a, a very very good team that we have to prepare ourselves as best as possible for that, um, because we're 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 very wary of the challenge that they are going to bring, uh, the environment that it's going to be. It's obviously in Port Leash, and there the, the the travel that or the traveling supporters that they had last weekend was was massive, um, and that's that's what we're preparing for. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's 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 going to be a, a massive battle. Do Eddie Brennan and Niall have similar philosophies on the game? Do you think, or does Eddie bring a different angle to Leash's play? I, I d- I've never worked with Eddie, so yeah. I, I don't know what his kind of mindset is towards the game. Obviously, seeing him on the Sunday game, but it's just what he has he achieved in the game. You know, however many all irons however many amounts of goals he's gotten to be in team setups. So, I mean, that's got to shine through in whatever experiences he had. Um, look, I can't speak f- for for obviously himself, but he obviously brings a huge amount to to, to their table and. Um, uh, yeah, and that's the, that that's a, that's exactly what he bring. Yeah, huge huge high quality. I know Dublin will be looked at as favourites going into this game because of where you've come from this year. But is O'Moore Park uh, an advantage for Leash? Massively, like you know, I think um, home advantage to any team at this stage of the championship is huge, um, and it's it's up to us then to to settle as quick as possible to get a to get uh, obviously a, a lot of neutral fixtures have been played there in the past, so it's a, it's a grounds. A lot of players are familiar with. It's only an hour spin outside of Dublin. Logistically, it's fine, but it's 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 how quickly can we kind of settle into the conditions? Uh, and then obviously, look, we're hoping again, as I would say, it's only 50 minutes down the road, so we're hoping a big, massive support will come with us and kind of even out the kill. And um, that's what we expect. It was the same in Parnell Park, so uh, I, I'd hope that there'd be a lot of Dublin support or a lot of you know dubs on the road or people living down Leash or that that they'd be at the match and, and be that 16th man like they were in Parnell Park. Just get out early, folks, because the N7 is an absolute nightmare these days with the, the roadworks going on, as I found myself. But um, looking at the layoff, you've had a three-week layoff yourselves, mm-hmm. six-day turnaround for Leash. Which one's better? doesn't matter, does it, really? Like, I mean, I, w- I would have no preference, to be honest. It, it, to, like, I mean, it, it kind of is what it is in terms of how, how the championship is laid out. They would have known themselves. And we know our layoff, so all we can worry about is ourselves um, and the time that we've had. You know, you're gonna say a, a lengthy battle so can be sometimes a disadvantage. It's how you use that time to keep yourself fresh um, and make sure that you're you're just ready um, because there'll be no uh, there'll be no excuses or, or <laughs> allowances made then on Sunday. That's for sure. There's an old timer in the team there playing like a lad who's only started in the senior panel, uh, Conal Keeney inspirational performance against Galway is it just on the pitch that he inspires the rest of the panel or is there more to him than that look Connell again his longevity and in, in everything he does is, is amazing um, his attitude that he brings to training is fantastic um, but I can tell you now we'd hate me speaking about him in that vein like you know because as far as we're concerned he's one cog of, of that whole unit um, and he's doing his bit, uh, albeit at whatever age he is, he'll always get the most out of himself. I think that's just the personality he is. But I think he's he's really enjoying it. Um, we're all we're all really enjoying it. Uh, and again, just working really hard for Sunday. And just finally, are you ready to start this weekend if called upon? Look again, I'll put myself in the best the best position possible I can be. That's all I can do. Um, I think this, the depth and strength in this panel is just insane. You saw with us, you know, Roar coming on with myself and Paul Ryan. Obviously, you're injured. You have John Heather and Paul Winters. All these guys are ready to come into the fray. You know, I think we have a great squad depth at the minute. So if, if it's not called upon me, I'll do my best as possible to add a percent here or there. But if it is someone, you can be sure that they're going to step into the fray and, and, and be ready for Sunday.